Hey everyone, this is David at Finish Line Factory, and I'm here today at Palm Beach International Raceway with Excel Auto, and they're having uh, kind of a track day, all exotics. They have uh, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Huracans, uh, let's see, there's a Porsche, the Camaro ZL1, and over here is this crazy blue. I believe this may be like either a Super Trofeo car that's been made street legal, or a street car that's made to look like a Super, super Trofeo, but it's on a full roll cage, carbon ceramic brakes, the whole... I don't know, it's got steel brakes, <laughs> but it's got the whole kit, so let's go check this out. Let's see. First off, carbon fiber splitter with a body, body paint match stripe. Leading up to these canards. It's on Hoosier, looks like R7 slicks. With very lightweight racing wheels. Center lock, as you can see and the uh, fender has been cut to reduce the air pressure behind the wheel. What's up, dude? Let's see. Interior has been all cleaned out. Got a roll cage in there. Racing steering wheel. No radio, just the controls for the race car. In the back, Brembo brakes again with a, looks like the bumper has been cut up. This might be like a, this might be like a later model. Uh, a lot of the, you can see the, the bumper has that, that shape to it. And then there's the, uh, these carbon fiber canners that are cut out to shape the wind as it's, as it's coming out. Back here, the, bump, the rear transmission, everything's all exposed, which is really freaking cool. And it's got the, this beautiful carbon fiber diffuser. Here the engine's all exposed. See uh, carbon fiber intakes and that 5.2 liter V10. Let me get some tire pressure to crack it. I'm sorry. Wait,
it. So this car right here, this is not just any Ford GT. This is Billy Johnson's Ford GT. Billy Johnson is one of the drivers of the Ford GT race cars that won at Le Mans. And this is his personal car. So you see it's black. It still has the, uh, the delivery wrapping on it. I guess he doesn't want to take it off, leave it in literally mint condition, still in the packaging. But yeah, it's, let's see. It's black, it's got the white racing stripe with number two in the middle. Coming down here also has the uh, number two on the door. It's got these beautiful carbon ceramic brakes with the Brembo calipers. Coming down here, carbon fiber side splitter leading up to this massive vent into this flying buttress that pulls air leading up to the moving wing. There you go. Look at this. And there's this V6, twin turbo V6, that EcoBoost engine. All right, before we go into the tent, there's a few cool cars out here. Check out this Miami Blue Porsche 911. I believe this is a turbo model. McLaren 570S. This is a first generation, well, technically, I guess, second generation Corvette ZR1 of the uh, 6th gen Corvette. Ford GT, as I saw previously. There's a white 488 Spider. Over there is actually a, a Range Rover Sport SVR. A lot of cool stuff. You see, uh, so you see, zoom in on that. Ferrari F12. It's a McLaren. Gallardo. 458. All right, so we're out here getting some food. Brought some good stuff out to the event. We got, we got Caesar salad. See, tortellini. Look at that. Very nice. Pick it up for you. Oh, they got, they got roast beef or steak. Look at that. It's delicious. Potatoes. Yeah, that. that's the best part. <laughs> Just kidding. Just got my food, but gotta get a drink. Let's grab a soda. There you go. Coke, if you want to sponsor me, you know, you're more than welcome. guys dinner's over uh, it's nighttime now so a few more cars have shown up and they're going to start doing the next sessions so uh, let's take a look at some of the cars that have shown up and we'll get back on track check this out this is a McLaren 720s and I think this is the launch edition color that's a pretty looking car and I'll check it out Oh, is the, is the SVR going on track? Oh, that'll be fun. I'm gonna go ask. Ah, too, too late. Hey, check it out, someone brought up the Dodge Demon. Looks like they already, they already run it on the drag strip. I was, uh, directions from the other side of the track, but here they're just loading it back up. And geez, look at this beautiful car. And it's so freaking wide. They can barely get it on the. They can barely get it on the U-Haul. Go back. Go You're good. You're good.
Oh wow. Alright, now you're on the roof. You're basically just on it, pinching the tire. Perfect, like a glove. Okay, so it turns out that they're also running the drag strip, and it's a full quarter mile, and it turns out there's actually a twin turbo Lamborghini Huracan uh, with an underground racing twin turbo kit. Uh, so I'm gonna head over there real quick and just check out what they've got. All right, boom. So right here on the, on the drag strip side, uh, there you got the tower set up over there. And uh, yeah, you got the 720S, the Lamborghini Huracan, and some cool stuff. Let's go check it out. Turbo Huracan is lining up, getting ready to run. So the Z28 is lining up. It's gonna get loud. Oh, looks like the Turbo S is also lining up with the Z28. In case we're wondering just how sticky a uh, drag strip can be, it's... Look at that. That one's super shoe off. This is hilarious. Alright, check out who's lining up. We got a Tesla Model S. Over here is a Porsche. It's a 911, I'm not sure which model. Is that gonna race? Alright, oh, it's a P100D, okay. This is gonna be fun. That's a P100D. That has like something like 800, 700 horsepower, something like that. 900 pound feet of torque. Be the quietest run ever. Oh, wow. It's probably gonna run like a 10 or something. Let me see. 10.8? 10.82 at 121 miles an hour. Okay, so now you got the 911 Turbo S up against the Tesla Model X P100D. This is gonna be crazy. Five seventy S and the four five eight. Each car has got the same amount of horsepower. The four five eight is naturally aspirated. The five seventy S is a twin turbo V eight. Both are V eights. Okay, we 
got Tesla Model S P100D and in the same color Tesla Model S P100D. So electric on electric. At this point it's really just a matter of reaction time. Alright, Tesla Model X. Ferrari 488 GTB. Battle of the Red Cars. Alright, so I'm taking a break from the drag strip just to take a quick look at this 720S. This color is absolutely beautiful. It's like this bluish white. It's not baby blue or anything, like a, or like a light blue. It's this very unique color. It's almost like a, I don't know, I don't even know what to call it, but it's very pearlescent. Look at this. The ch these divided channels that channel air all around the car. Carbon ceramic brakes. Look at this. Look at this streamlined roof line, just leading air down into the engine bay for cooling and this adjustable wing leading back here with these titanium exhausts oh and he just got this car too here is another 720S and uh, this one has a particular owner you might know him drag times guy look at this, this beautiful burnt orange color Eye socket headlight. There's Billy Johnson and Vanilla Ice. That's great. Beautiful truck, though. F-350 that pops wheelies. There you go. I'm about, to, I'm about to ride a wheelie down the hole. There you go. I want to see you lift those front wheels. Yeah, watch this. Hey, we're racing for a cup of coffee. Look out. There you go.
Alright guys, I'm back on the road course side. I'm actually just walking into the paddock right now. Looks like uh, everything's done. Everybody's packing up for the day. The cars are getting put on trailers and, well, some of them are driven. Some of them are put on trailers and they're being taken back home. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Bye.